Water scarcity affects hundreds of millions of people today, and unfortunately, that is expected to rise. The UN predicts that by 2050, at least one in four people is likely to live in a country affected by chronic or recurring shortages of fresh water. As climate impacts worsen in the coming years, building resilience in the field of water security is going to be a very important goal for a lot of countries, but particularly those where water is already scarce and where populations are vulnerable to water scarcity. To ensure sustainable and climate resilient access to water for all, existing investments in the water sector need to increase threefold to $114 billion each year. Private finance will need to fund a significant portion of these needs, but the water sector is traditionally not favored by private investors. The water financing facility is an instrument designed to mobilize large-scale capital investment for the water sector in countries which are subject to water stress due to climate change. The water sector has not traditionally attracted very much private investment. However, the water financing facility aims to change this by mobilising institutional investors including pension funds and insurance companies through the local bond market to invest in climate resilient water projects. The water financing facility proposed to the lab by the Netherlands Ministry of Foreign Affairs is based on existing debt financing instruments applied by the Dutch water boards and utilities in the Netherlands. The instrument sets up facilities at the national level that can provide long-term lower cost local currency loans to water utilities for climate resilient water projects. The facility then leverages its blended capital structure to issue locally rated investment grade bonds to domestic institutional investors. A world water financing facility aims to centralize knowledge, expertise, and budgets to set up seven to ten of these national level facilities, with the first potential pilot expected in Kenya. By strengthening water utilities and ensuring safe access to water for local communities, the water financing facility addresses a major adaptation issue. The water financing facility will impact very strongly on the life of particularly the poor people, people who do not have access right now, who do not have access to safe water, say from a secure piped system. They often pay five times as much to, say, domestic vendors, people who come to their house to sell a jerry can of water. They pay much more than what they should pay if they were connected to a well-functioning utility. By extending networks of utilities, to the poor, we're really directly impacting on their day-to-day -day life. We make life easier and we make it cheaper for them. In the seven pilot countries identified by lab analysis, $1.23 billion could be mobilised into climate resilient water projects. This is going to lead to a lot of gains in terms of social economic benefits, better sanitation and other benefits, but more importantly, Building climate resilience into local water sectors means that the development gains that have been made now and will still be made into the future can be retained by the people who need them most. World Water Financing Facility is ready to be launched and to start in a few selected countries. So we invite you to join. Join the Water Financing Facility and make water and sanitation services available to everybody by 2030 in the spirit of the Sustainable Development Goals.